Okay, welcome to the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. This is Bruce at Bookmap. Risk disclaimer, trading futures, equities, and digital currencies involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not necessarily indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, there are a variety of new products. Uh, they come with education, uh, except for the free one. So, um, uh, what the education includes is the educational course. It's a four-part series uh, and uh, about an hour long each. Uh, and then you get access to the uh, advanced order flow webinars that start at 11 uh, Eastern time. Okay, so uh, the advanced order flow webinars um, cover the live market, but uh, go over and support the content that is, is um, covered in the bookmap educational course. Okay, so let's take a look at bookmap.com. Uh, you can scroll down here, uh, intro video, uh, information about bookmap. Uh, there's dev experts uh, uh, data feed here, and uh, just uh, a bit further down, um, uh, connectivity. Okay, so the this is important. Uh, bookmap is a visualization uh, software trading platform. Okay. We don't provide uh, data. Okay, so uh, uh, we do have actually a, a, a unique uh, uh, a connection where um, automatically you're going to get um, connectivity to GDAX uh, for uh, digital currencies. So that is available now through Bookmap 7.0, uh, the new beta version that I'll, I'll be demoing here. Uh, but for all the rest here, you will need to provide your data. So uh, this is um, uh, how it works. Okay, so uh, you can see we connect to a Ninja Trader uh, TT uh, X Trader Pro, uh, as well as Interactive Brokers Traders Workstation. Okay, now these are three platforms, but we'll, we'll connect via the API of these three platforms. Okay, but we are a platform just like they are, so you can connect directly, which is uh, the preferred method to connect directly um, Bookmap with like CQG or Rhythmic or Gain or IQ Feed or Transact or Dev Experts, which will include the uh, NASDAQ total view. Okay, and that's for all US equities. Okay, let's see a question right off the bat here. Um, okay, so Forex. Uh, Carmen, um, the um, uh, Forex markets, they don't have a centralized limit order book, okay? It's, um, uh, you know, uh, over-the-counter exchange, so it's very different. Uh, therefore, we, you really, I mean, you, yeah, I mean, we don't connect to Forex, okay? Instead, we, we connect to the currency futures, though, through the CME, um, or if it's offered on uh, another futures exchange that has a, uh, a limit order book, okay? Okay, um, yeah, I'm not sure about uh, that comment about the uh, XP um, in Brazil. I, I know that uh, uh, we're working on that and I, I don't have any sort of release dates on that yet, okay? Uh, but um, uh, this is uh, it's gonna be, uh, yeah, Equip Trader is, uh, um, Right now, the, um, you're getting uh, book map through through uh, Equip Trader. Okay. Um, all right. So that's connectivity. Uh, here are the the packages that are available. Uh, there's monthly or yearly, and you get the 20% discount here. Um, there are um, uh, there's two different versions: the digital uh, and the global. Okay. So digital uh, is free, uh, and no credit card is uh, required. And uh, what you get is um, uh, one currency that connects to the GDAX exchange, and that's it. All right, so you get to check out Bookmap in the live markets with the, with the heat map, uh, real-time data, full depth, um, and uh, full visualization. Uh, but um, uh, there is, um, oh, it looks like there is a, a one-click trading here at the moment now. Okay. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. This is only in simulation for the one-click trading. Uh, and then the... Um, uh, uh, yeah, one instrument, uh, limited support, and then only the basic uh, education, okay, not that advanced education. Okay, the Digital Plus uh, comes with the um, uh, uh, education and, and full support, uh, and, uh, whoops, let me go back here to the, to the um, monthly. Uh, it comes with the uh, education and support, uh, and uh, you can uh, load up to 20 different instruments. 
okay, for uh, for digital. Global uh, is everything with digital plus, and it also includes uh, supports uh, uh, futures markets as well as U.S. equities. Uh, you get the advanced education and you get um, a full support. All right. Uh, and then Global Plus is uh, everything with Global Plus, you get the add-on indicators, okay? The ability to trade right from the chart with one-click trading. And then these add-on uh, features here that you get, like a large lot tracker and balance indicator, iceberg tracker, and uh, uh, the correlation tracker. Okay. All right. You can follow us here on Twitter at bookmap underscore pro. Uh, and get the latest up-to-date information. And uh, then you can also subscribe to our YouTube page. Uh, just to go over it briefly, uh, some intro videos here. There's a playlist. You can click on this link for the playlist. Uh, features and components. Uh, another playlist here of all the different features and components. Uh, here's the Bookmap 7.0 overview, if you want to see that. That's a new video. Uh, and then these order flow video snippets. Okay, these are concise videos uh, that cover order flow phenomena that we go through uh, in detail uh, in the advanced order flow webinars. Okay, so uh, Bookmap is able to visualize uh, a lot of these different uh, uh, concepts or phenomena uh, that uh, just other platforms uh, simply uh, simply cannot do. All right, so it's how to see it and how to read it and what it is, uh, and um, uh, you know, using using Bookmap. Okay. Let's jump into book map and take a look here. Uh, looking at the NQ, okay, we're gonna look at the uh, the NASDAQ here. And um, for a lot of you uh, uh, new to book map here, well, you're gonna look at this and, and think, wow, I've never seen a, a chart quite like this. It looks very complex. It's actually not, it's uh, it's actually pretty, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, and uh, there are uh, only, uh, uh, three elements on this chart, okay? If I just take some of the other ones off here. Uh, and the three elements are uh, uh, the um, historical best bid and offer, okay? Uh, the uh, the volume dots uh, that show the volume that traded on that historical best bid and offer. And then the uh, third element is the, uh, the heat map, which shows the evolution of the dome, okay? Of the limit order book, okay? So that, that answers your question, Carmen, about... Um, uh, why not forex? Well, because uh, with the forex market, uh, you're uh, you're not going to get a, a, a limit order book here or a, a dome. Okay, that's going to be uh, quite accurate. All right. So uh, and that's going to that leads for a lot of insight here. Okay. So uh, let's uh, let's go through it here uh, one by one. Uh, what are these uh, these elements here? And uh, I'm going to take everything else off of the. Uh, chart here okay and we're just going to look at some candlesticks okay because we're all familiar with this view and what it's showing okay so it's open high low and close in this case of a five minute period right now uh, reading reading aggregated data like this uh, is um, uh, deceitful uh, because uh, there's all sorts of other information that's just not here in the chart and why isn't it well because it's a five minute period of aggregation so we don't know what happened between this candle and this candle we just know open high low and close and the reference to that and that's a problem because this is a breakdown here we want to understand microstructures uh, within this area here and the volume that traded on that structure to uh, to look for uh, you know, why this continued to the downside, okay? Uh, and then over, over here, why why it has reversed and come back up to test where it uh, originated from here at the at the 9.30, well, a little bit above the 9.30 open here. Okay, back up to this kind of swing up here, right? Well, that's, that's information we want to know. Uh, so let's turn on the historical best bid and offer and look at microstructure. Okay, so very simply put, the uh, historical best bid and offer can show the microstructure. Uh, it's a very simple thing, uh, but uh, uh, that's lost in the aggregation. Okay, so for example, this this move here, I mean, we can very clearly just point to many of these candles. Uh, look at the 9:30 open, the move down, and the move back up above where we opened. Okay, and then look at the retest here. Okay, and then we continue to the upside. 
Okay, so understanding these little pauses and these little structures in here are important to understand, and we can see who's winning the battle uh, in uh, in these areas because it's time and acceptance above these areas. So, uh, for example, very clearly, here's where we opened, and we came back and tested almost exactly where we opened. Okay, after the move to the downside. Okay, and we can see here again, and then we see a breakdown here. Okay, and that comes back to that that uh, original candle uh, we were looking at right here. Okay, and the move to the downside. Okay, so we're getting all sorts of information about these structures being broken in time and and acceptance above uh, these these areas. But let's turn on the volume. Okay, because the volume is going to give us a lot of understanding of where the majority of the traders are transacting. Okay, and there is a lot of buying up in, in this area here. Uh, there's both on both sides. I mean, this is the open, so you can see there's just a lot of activity. Uh, but uh, look at the open here and the immediate drop to the uh, to the downside. Uh, anyone who uh, sold uh, this area here, well, they're probably going to be placing their stops up here. And you can see this is probably a, a, a stop run to the upside. Uh, combined with some initiated buying, uh, and um, uh, and we continued up again in uh, into this area, and this all of this kind of data here is completely lost on that uh, on that candlestick. Look at this cluster of volume up here. Okay, there's a lot of buying up here. Okay, and there's not too much selling. All right, we come down, retest this area, and come back up and retest where we um, see this cluster of volume. Okay, that's that's uh, that's good insight. Uh, to uh, to know that there were a lot of transactions up there. Okay, uh, in the end, uh, we did not make a new a new high here. Uh, we came short of it, and look at the cluster up here compared to over here. Okay, we don't see as much action. Okay, so we're getting tremendous insight by just looking at these first two elements on the bookmap chart: the uh, microstructure and volume, and how that volume relates into the microstructure. Okay. So uh, in, in the end, what happened on this uh, double top here, and this is what constitutes a double top. Come back up. We don't quite make, uh, in this variation of a double top, we don't quite make a, a higher high. Uh, and we don't see as much volume up here. So we kind of rotate back and we retest one more time. And we don't even make another uh, higher high. We make a lower high. Okay, that's twice. Sellers read that and they start to hit the bid on the other side here. Okay, and drive price down below, all right? So that's the insight that we're getting here. Uh, and uh, let's zoom into this area. And I just want to uh, be clear uh, that the, these two elements are very simple, okay? And let's zoom into like here, okay? This is the best bid, this green line. This is the best offer, this red line. Uh, the red dot that you see here is actually, a, it's a transaction, okay? Uh, it's a, a market sell. Okay, someone hit the market sell button and they took liquidity off of the best bid. Uh, and the dot is uh, uh, produced here on the uh, on the best bid. Okay, this is a market buy here, a green dot. Okay, so all we're doing is plotting uh, the, uh, the transactions. Uh, we can continue to zoom into these areas and we may see there's more and more trades here. In this case, it's only for a volume of one, so it's not possible. Um, but we can zoom into larger clusters like over here, okay? And we're going to start to pull apart all of that data. So you can see that book map here, for example, this cluster, uh, is, is recording every single market event, okay, down to nanosecond levels. Those are billions of seconds, okay? And we can handle that. Uh, the software can handle that. Now, um, we can see the... Um, uh, each transaction here, but as I zoom back out, note how we consolidate it, okay, just graphically, okay, or aggregate it just graphically. All the data is still there, uh, but uh, we give you an overall uh, shape and understanding of what occurred there uh, with the uh, larger dot, uh, and, uh, and and it, and you can see that there's some selling in here, so we'll, we'll um, con continue to zoom out, and these larger dots are going to turn into a... Um, uh, a pie display, okay? So you can see that, uh, like for example here, there's buying and selling, okay? Or over here, 
All right. So all the data is still there. Uh, we're just giving you the uh, overall shape of it. And if you want the precise numbers, you can just hover over that dot and it tells us exactly what it is. Okay. This uh, uh, volume up here was uh, for, for 12. Okay. Uh, as you can see, and there's one over here, 21. Okay. There's here. I'm sorry for four. Let's just zoom in here. Uh, 10, uh, you know, uh, one and another one. All right. And then I zoom out and I get to a certain point. I can hover that and it gives me the, uh, the overall here. Okay. All right. So that's, uh, that's book map, what it's showing you. Uh, and, uh, we haven't gotten yet to the, uh, key feature, which is the, um, I'll take the candlesticks off. Uh, the key feature here is the, um, the heat map. Okay. So what is the heat map telling us or what is it to begin with? Um, the, uh, the heat map, uh, is derived from the limit order book. Okay. So if we zoom in here, right, this is your dome, your depth of market here. Here's your best bid and offer. Okay. And then this is your depth on the offer here and your depth on the bid. So we can see exactly where traders are lining up to provide liquidity, All right? Uh, and we want to understand that uh, going to the dome is uh, is good. It to, it gives you a good snapshot shot of where traders are lined up uh, to uh, provide liquidity. Okay, and um, the uh, uh, the problem here though is when these numbers change, and you can see they're changing all the time. Well, then we don't have a record of that data any longer. Okay? We don't know uh, what occurred there. Okay, so uh, that's where Bookmap solves this issue because we record it. So we take the data in this window here, areas of high liquidity. It's high, it, it shows up as a, a, a you know a high uh, uh, area here in orange or yellow uh, to the heat map scale up here. Okay, so dark gray is very low liquidity. And uh, orange is very high liquidity. So now we can understand where they're bidding and offering. Okay, they just, they're popping in and out of the book up here. So look how we, we record that data. Okay, so we can see precisely uh, this, this is one individual actor. You know, we're pretty sure of that. Pulling liquidity, adding higher, pulling, adding higher, pulling, adding higher. Okay, so, um, uh, you know, we're starting to gauge not only where there is liquidity, but the games that they're starting to play or their intent to trade at these areas. And that's giving us tremendous insight here. Okay, so uh, he's pulling liquidity and, and going higher. Well, that means that the buyers can come in here and uh, and try to reach higher areas for higher liquidity. Okay, and you can see that uh, that's what's occurring here. All right, okay, we can also determine here uh, very simply uh, you know, a lot, a lot of traders will tell you, like, um, uh, if you look in the, uh, if you look at the dome, well, I don't look at the dome that much because traded volume is, uh, is king and the, the limit order book doesn't tell me anything because all of those orders are fake. And that's not true because we can look precisely at some of these areas like down here and we can see exactly what occurred. All right. This is not fake liquidity. Okay. They provided that liquidity and they traded right into it here. Okay. So that's real liquidity. They had the intent to trade here. Okay. And they pulled some of it though. Okay. So, um, some of it traded and then some of it was pulled, but you can see here that the larger players are, um, providing, uh, their bids here with limit orders and they're getting filled. We just made a distinction between real liquidity and fake liquidity. Our fake liquidity was up here. This guy pulling, he has no intent to trade. All right. Uh, and uh, what kind of insight did that lead to? Well, if we understand larger players are down here uh, uh, providing high liquidity and getting filled uh, at these areas, well, we, we start to look for a, a turnaround uh, and, uh, and look for the, uh, the aggressor on the buy side to, to jump in. Okay? And that's indeed exactly what happened here above the little swing uh, and above this swing now. And it uh, looks like they're shooting for uh, uh, next area would be up here. And then maybe the high of the day here, okay, at, at uh, uh, 69.45, okay. But look at them come into the book now at, at, at uh, 69.40, okay. So sellers are up here. 
right? So uh, yeah, any any uh, anyway, we're uh, starting to understand uh, the the limit order book, and then also who's in control in the volume. Okay, I see a lot of selling in here too. Okay, on this way up, there's both on both sides here. So I think we're probably going to slow down a bit, uh, and um, uh, you know, uh, yeah, I mean the target here is is high liquidity at uh, at 40. Uh, and we'll see if uh, maybe they uh, re-ignite uh, 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 more trading here, okay? But uh, we're, see we're seeing some sellers at uh, some of these areas too, okay? So, uh, you know, the um, uh, it's just not – in a trending market, what I'm, I'm trying to cover is a, a, a point that we look at in the um, uh, uh, advanced order flow webinars all the time, and that is uh, what – uh, order flow looks like in a trending market, okay? And usually this is not it, even though we are trending up here. Uh, usually what you'll see in these little points down here is you're not going to see much selling at all. You're not going to see much much um, transactions at all, okay? Uh, instead, you're going to see just clusters of buying at higher highs, pulling the market higher, and then looking for price discovery to the upside, Okay. Uh, instead, uh, this this is uh, looking for a slowdown here, and these guys are actually getting squeezed out uh, and having to cover up at higher areas. And let's see here, what do we what do we have? Do we get to our high of the day yet? And that was uh, yeah, it looks like we're just about up there. Okay. So anyone that was uh, uh, selling, uh, they're going to have to cover uh, up in some of these areas. And you can see we also have here another uh, insight. This is what liquidity looks like around these whole numbers, okay? 69.50, an important number. Larger players, 163 contracts, by far the biggest in the book right here, okay? And we'll determine as price starts to come up here, are they going to stay in this book? And they're, are they going to get filled or uh, are they going to pull? Okay. So putting all these pieces together, we're starting to understand uh, the total market uh, in terms of uh, their intent to trade at specific levels uh, and their uh, um, transactions that shows uh, where they're committed uh, in the market. All right. So, um, yeah, that's uh, that's book map. Um, and um, uh, if you guys are interested, uh, you can give that uh, free trial. Uh, or not trial, it's just uh, bookmap free uh, in, um, for a digital currency, uh, or, uh, you know, give it a shot for a month and see if this is something that, uh, that works for you, okay? So if with uh, limited money, uh, you can uh, start to access uh, not only the uh, uh, bookmap uh, software product, but the, the education as well, okay? So for example, these guys up here, Yep, look at that absorption right here, 127 contracts at, at the uh, 69.50 area, okay? So there was 160 though, right? So that guy pulled some of it, okay? So we're seeing that uh, there, was, there was absorption here. And, um, you know, uh, it did it reverse? No, but we're not looking for uh, reversal on, on these things. I mean, we're looking for who's still in control now, but we're noting these areas here. Okay. Uh, yeah, Carmen, just go to go to bookmap.com and uh, uh, you know check it out. Uh, go through the process there and uh, and get up and running uh, in in Bookmap. There's also some free uh, uh, data feeds that are available for uh, trial for like 14 days. So you might want to give that a shot if you don't have a, a broker or a data provider. Okay. All right. Well. Um, I'm starting to uh, look for more absorption at some of these higher areas, and then I'm looking for some sellers to start to come in, uh, and we start to break some structure and uh, not make higher highs here, and then see the same thing like before. Lower highs, here, here's a good example of some exhaustion. The sellers are going to read that, right? Uh, and um, uh, we're going uh, to see if we can get down in this area here and we see a nice cluster of selling, I would look for continuation to the downside. Okay. Instead, uh, we, we're uh, kind of going sideways here at the moment, but uh, oh, we just exhausted out one more time up here. Okay. So it's kind of bashing around at the moment, but uh, 
Yeah, here come the buyers. Okay, initiating, initiating uh, again uh, to, uh, as you can see, just re reading the uh, the dots here, reading the uh, the order flow. Okay. All right, guys. Well, let's uh, let's wrap it up. We'll call it a day, and um, then we will. Um, uh, oh yeah, I mean you can you can reach out to us, uh, Carmen. Uh, uh, you know, through uh, if you look at the the, the contact uh, uh, page uh, on the website there, and there's a phone number as well. Or uh, yeah. All right, all right, guys. Well, let's uh, we'll continue on tomorrow. Uh, thanks for coming and. Um, uh, see you. See you then. Bye.